Graduated high school, I did five years in the Navy. Um, I did two tours. Uh, after my second tour, I discharged. Got a degree in welding. Welded for Caterpillar for a little while. Wasn't quite sure what I, what I wanted to do, what my path would be. Left Caterpillar, welded in North Dakota, up in the oil fields for uh, about a year. And came back and mom still had a few of the goats around and stuff and decided I was, you know, it was time to jump back into it. Grew up doing 4-H and FFA and decided that uh, I wanted to go to school for agriculture. So I uh, ended up going to Oklahoma State for a little while uh, and then went to Mizzou to get my master's. And uh, along the way, he and I started talking. And so uh, when we decided, you know, hey, this is, this is what we want to do, um, we realized you know, we probably had to come back uh, both for his son and to give us the best opportunity to start our own operation. I have always loved the livestock. From a very small age, mom always knew growing up if she was looking for me starting the barn. Um, when I was probably five, we got our first three ewes that we got to keep there at the place and we bred them. And the first year I was able to show 4-H, I could tell my lamb stay and it would not move. I do a lot of the stuff with the goats. I pretty much kid them out myself. Together talk about, you know, genetics and breeding decisions. Um, that's kind of Ryan's thing. He, he really likes that, that side of it. Whereas I like the, the more the day-to-day, -day, like, you know, here's gonna be our pasture rotation. Um, you know, here's what we're gonna feed them. We start lambing the sheep January 1st, and then try to have them done by like mid-February. February 1st, we'll start calving, so hopefully we're trailing off on the sheep and the cows are, you know, we get a mad dash in the beginning with all the AIs, plus when you turn the bulls in, we usually catch a lot on that first cycle. And then March 1st is when the goats start. And so there's 90 days in there of just pure chaos. Like I said, it's, it's 90 days, but that's pretty well where our year is either made or lost, is, is in the 90 days. Being able to go and do YFNR and meet other people, you know, who had also just gotten involved but didn't really know what was going on. Um, and so, and with Ryan's sister being on the YFNR committee, she really helped us, you know, get involved and say, you know, hey, you're here, here's how you make the most of it. Say your passions take you to where you want to be. Been involved in livestock and, and just, you know, the industry my whole life. It wasn't hard, I guess I don't look at it as a job. It wasn't hard to, you know, hey, I want to be involved in Farm Bureau and, and help support the industry that we're involved in. It's easy to make time for, for something that you care about. You're going to meet people from all over. You never know who you're going to meet. You might, your next big opportunity might, might happen there. I did uh, Leadership Academy's DC trip last year. Very much recommended. And so it was good to meet, you know, the people who now represent our state. Getting in there and actually walking through these buildings and seeing, you know, here's the history and here's why you know, our democratic process is so important, um, really kind of drove it home that, you know, you might just be one person, but, you know, if you, if you work together with an organization like Farm Bureau, you can do a lot more and make your voices much louder. I'm Ryan Musgrave. I'm a livestock producer from Clay County, Nebraska, and I'm Farm Bureau proud. I'm a diversified livestock producer, a rural Nebraskan, and I am Farm Bureau proud.